we have our logo here, but it's not really a logo, right? It's just text. So what I want to do is we're going to go grab the Angular logo, and then we'll see how the Angular CLI deals with images and where we put our images, how we reference them in our template, and then what happens to them when we are building for production. Let's go over here. We're going to open up angular.io. And this Angular logo here, right click, save image as, and then we'll just save it as angular-logo. And this is going to my desktop. So we're going to open this desktop, take this logo, copy it, and then let's find this folder that we're in, Angular, my new, my Angular site, that's where we are. So where do we put this? Well, we have our source folder, and that's where we're going to be working, and we already have an assets folder, so we're going to put it in our assets folder. And this is something that the Angular CLI provides for us. So we're going to create a new folder called image and paste that in there. So now we have Angular site slash source slash assets slash image and then our actual image. We can close this now. Let's swing back over here. Now we have assets, image, Angular logo. So to use it, all we have to do is open up our header components. Let's go back into header components. And here, instead of my logo goes here, we're going to say image. And how do we reference this as the source? Well, we're going to go directly from the source folder. Everything that Angular CLI does is going to be from the source root. So we're going to say source. We want assets, image, Angular logo. So we're going to say assets, forward slash image, slash Angular dash logo dot ping. Save that. And now the Angular logo is up there. All right, that's very nice. Let's see what happens when we build this for production. I just want to know that our assets are going to be used in production. Well, let's swing back, go into here. Let's close our ng serve for a second. ng build for production. Now we have our three JavaScript files and our one CSS file. Now the cool thing that Angular CLI does for us is it copies over the entire assets folder as well. So here's assets, image, Angular logo. All we have to do is add things to the assets. Angular CLI automatically brings assets into our disk folder. And now this, all these files here are what's required to serve our website. All right, that's good for adding a logo. Let's move forward and start working on the homepage.